I'm so excited that you're here for my final season. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Thanks for always being so kind and supportive of me. It's like, it's so nice. It feels very full circle to be here for the last. Well, you're awesome. You're amazing. I mean, that, you're such a brilliant, uh, your voice is amazing, but you're such a great songwriter. I mean, I've just always loved your music. And I haven't seen you in a while, but you did come to my 60th birthday party. I did. Which yeah. is, I still tell this story because it's like, uh, like the most insane night of my whole life. <laughs> I don't, I don't like get invited to like, you know, like big Hollywood parties, you know. And I, I'm like from Brampton. It was me and my best friend. She's my plus one, and it was like the most fun, insane night of my life. It felt like a dream. Like you know, dreams where like certain people are in the same room and it like, it feels like it's like not real. Yeah. Like Like Melissa McCarthy and DJ Khaled were like dance battling, and then like Reese Witherspoon is like DJing. It was wild. It was. I, I, it was yeah. it was quite it was a like party. A yeah. It was a fun party, and you sang, and it was fantastic. Oh, thank was, you. Yeah, I know that was another wild yeah. thing. Yeah, it was Thanks great. For having me. Um, so you're living on your own now. I am. Yeah, and I live in the city. Yeah, you live by yourself, and you have a puppy. I do. Have this a is puppy. your first pet. Um, my first, like, I guess, real pet. I had like birds before. Oh yeah, there she is. That's my dog Cleo. Yeah, um, she's a COVID dog. We got, of course. I mean, I feel like everybody got a, yeah. some sort of COVID pet. That's the, she's my. <laughs> oh yeah, there she is. That's so sweet. Yeah, I think a lot. That was a, one good thing that came out of COVID is a, a lot of the shelters were emptied. A lot of people rescued animals. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Good so. for you. Um, I want to hear some of these impressions that you've gotten so much attention for. You're doing some, you've done some really good ones. <laughs> and you. the new one is, is it Owen Wilson? Um, I'm trying to work on my Owen Wilson, so I figured I would debut it here for okay. your last season. Um, it's only one word, though. Yep. And it's his classic word. Right. Are you guys ready? Yep. Okay, I have to get into character. You got to scrunch your face up. Wow. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Who else? <laughs> Who else are you well, doing? Um, well... Um, God, I love to do Jennifer Coolidge. She's, uh, you know, uh, I don't know what to say. Yeah. Just here on the, the last season of Ellen. Um, and uh, I can do, what else can I do? I could do um, Kourtney Kardashian, which is like, great. That is so great. I love being here on the Ellen show. It's Bible, great. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. Have you me. always done impressions? Um, I guess. Like, I've always enjoyed, like, mimicking people and doing uh -huh. accents and stuff. But I, I didn't really think I was good at them until people keep asking me to do them. You so. are. And the Jennifer Coolidge is really good. Thanks. Um, <laughs> hey, I wanted to uh, talk about, because uh, we were talking, I was talking to the audience earlier, and a lot of people are talking about how it, it's really important to have representation on people that are struggling with depression or anxiety because a lot of people struggle with it and they think people in this business or you have success or money, we don't have any of those problems. And you've been very, very outspoken about that. You set aside, which is interesting to me, you set aside 30 minutes of worry time. Mm -hmm. Most people are worrying the rest, uh, just 30, <laughs> like... <laughs> 30 of not worrying, yes. yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. But how, how do you just set aside 30 minutes of worrying? Um, it's difficult. This is something that my therapist um, brought up to me. She'll be very happy that I'm shouting her out, so shout out to you. Um, saved my life. Um, and yeah, so she kind of, you know, wanted to, she wanted me to do this exercise to kind of show us that we are in control of our minds, no matter how, you know, difficult, no matter what's going on in there, you can control it. Because oftentimes it feels like a tidal wave, especially anxiety and worrying, and those, those feelings can feel larger than you. But she was like, you know, just... When you, I guess for some reason, when you set aside a time and you know throughout your day that you're going to have those 30 minutes and you can kind of see them, you can postpone it. And I started noticing because I was giving myself that time to only worry, I was like pushing it aside in my day and I could like live a little bit easier because I had those 30 minutes. And during those 30 minutes, I just literally sit there and worry or like talk to somebody and just vent and worry and get stressed. And then when the 30 minutes are up, I just... You put it away. It's a great idea to try. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about your new album. In the meantime, uh, is getting great reviews, and you wrote the whole thing yourself. I did, yeah. It's, that's fantastic. I mean, you really are. <laughs> it's a lot of songs. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a, lot, it's a of lot of songs. It is a lot of songs. And, and also, I heard you write in the bathtub. I do, yes. Um, despite popular belief, I, I'm clothed and there's no water in the bathtub, so just to make that clear. It's just, oh, I'm just I sitting. didn't realize that. Yeah, see, so it's just, I just sit in there. Um, and I don't know when I started doing this, but I, I just enjoy writing in the bathtub. It feels like a, a little private hub. You're just like in clothes <laughs> in a bathtub. Yeah, clothes. No, I don't know if that's like worse or, or better, if that's like weirder or not. No, it's just, it's, in it's interesting. Wherever you get your creativity. Exactly. Yeah. All right, well, it's great seeing you again. Good to see you're, too. you're awesome. You're amazing. Alessia's new album is In the Meantime. It's available now. All, all of you are going home with a copy. Yeah. Uh, 